Visit thegamekeys.co.uk for your MSP and PSN codes. Use Nick at checkout for an even bigger discount. What's up, you beauties? Welcome back to, I guess, episode three on my tips and tricks on what to do at the beginning of Ultimate Team 15. I know I say it every time, guys, but thank you so much for the support on the last two videos. It goes to show that you guys like this, and I even had comments from people saying like, wow, Nick, I never thought of doing that with bronze packs, or I never thought of doing that with a smaller league instead of BPL. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a link to video one and video two of my tips and tricks right in the description down below so on the docket boys today is for us to finish up the manager tasks and what i think is going to close out the video very well so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to play an offline game with my spaniards because they are going to be my fitness team and then i'm going to play an online seasons match with these boys so i'm not going to make you guys sit through the offline game i'm just going to play it and then i'll show you guys the score after that then I'm going to play online with these boys and we'll go through the entire painful process of using a 61 chemistry team. All right, boys. So here's the fitness team that I'm going to use in the offline tournament match. I will then show you guys the results right at the end. Okay. And there we go, boys. So there's me playing the computer to get that one manager achievement done. We got the thousand coin boost. So I'm happy with almost 1500 coins from one random game. And the star of the show, boys, for my fitness team, let me show you this. You would think it's Borja Baston, but it's Nico. It's me. My old footy nickname was Nico, and I got six fucking goals. And that's a center attacking mid on something like three chemistry. So star of the show for me, boys. And I might have to actually build the team around this Spaniard. Why not, right? Have a bit of fun with it. Quickly, boys, another quick tip other than playing, you know, offline season, online seasons and swapping things is actually getting through every single featured tournament that you can. Okay, so stuff like this. I know it's annoying. It's going to make Ultimate Team 15 a real grind, but I would highly recommend it. Play all of these tournaments. You get a club customization pack at the end. This one you get nothing, so maybe not play that one. But this one you get a thousand coins and so on and so forth. You get a silver gift pack from this one, silver contracts pack, so on and so forth. Mixed contracts and it gets better I think near the end, doesn't it? A gold pack and the online tournaments, this is really where I'm going to say we're going to play a little bit in this Road to Glory next year is if they have stuff like this. Jumbo premium in a bronze cup, silver pack in the silver cup, and then a gold pack in the gold cup. So all of this stuff I would highly recommend, guys. Don't just stick to seasons. Play tournaments that give you awesome rewards. I would highly recommend it as well. All right, and here's another recommendation for you guys. Now, in that game, even though it was offline, one of my players got an injury. Now, I will never recommend to spend and go spend, you know, 400 coins on a heal all. The beauty of having a fitness team and a main team is swapping them out and then just putting this guy on the bench. I think he's only injured for one game. Let's go check and see. Two matches. So we'll go play one or two matches normally, right, with our main team and he'll be back. Don't waste your money on fitness and heals and shit like that, okay? I've said it before, but I want to say it again. That's how you do well in Ultimate Team is if you run a club efficiently like this. So here we go, boys. This is the main team. 61 chemistry, 69 rated. I've got, of course, the fitness team on the bench. The injured player I've put in the reserve. So after two games, he'll be uninjured. So that's what I do to not spend money. And on the plus side, we have something like 1,400 coins. Yeah, 1,400 coins to spend. So I'm going to work my way downward. Now, I'm going to try and find myself a center defensive mid that I think is good and either a left back or, yeah, maybe we'll keep Torsadita, Tits Face, whatever he is at right back. So I'll try to find a CDM and maybe a left back to improve my team for three, 400 coins. So right off the bat, guys, I'm going to buy Custodio. He's not the greatest player to pick up at the end of the day, but he's only 400 coins. He's fresh, so that means I can use him for seven games. I'll then discard him and go buy someone else for 400 coins. That's kind of the theory and the way that I go about things. Now, I don't normally think I would ever use this card, especially in a main team, but that's what I'm trying to teach you guys is that you can basically build teams, use them for free. Okay, so let's get Rolando for 350 coins. There we go. I was looking for left backs. I was looking for right backs. None of them popped up. You kind of got to get lucky on the market right at the start of Ultimate Team 15 and honestly, even in Ultimate Team 14 right now. So I got lucky. I got him for 350 coins. I think I can discard him for 304. So that's not bad. And we got him for seven games. No other center backs on the market. But we did just pick up a Portuguese goalkeeper uh, and he will kind of fit nicely into the team. He'll be on full chemistry, believe it or not, linking with Rolando. Oh, 
Oh, just doing that actually gives me even more chemistry. So Varela is now on nine chem no matter what. And I've actually just given Allen as well nine chem. So we're on 82 chemistry with this riffraff team that's basically discard price. Now, before we do anything else, the one of the manager achievements is to get a chemistry style. Now, as a little bit of a joke, I think it is a waste of money at the end of the day, but I'm loving using this guy, Nico. So I'm going to go get him basically a discard chemistry style just to get the manager achievement. So when we're done the seasons game, we'll actually be able to open the pack as well. And there we go, boys. We ended up buying a maestro chemistry style for 250 coins, but I'm okay with that. So let's go to our reserves. We'll toss it on Mr. Nico face. Where is he here? There. So that should give us the next achievement. So all we need to do now, boys, is get that game in online seasons. Pray for me, boys. All right, let's check this team out. 76 chemistry. Holy shit, he actually has a half decent team as well. Mostly English, which I feel is what a lot of people's starter teams are. They're always going to be just mostly a nationality of whatever they get the most with from starter packs. Okay, patience, patience. Ver Varela? Oh my god. Varela! Oh, mama! What is he doing? Don't quit. Don't fucking quit. Don't fucking quit, dude. Please, God, no. Why would you fucking quit, you whore? Why would you quit, dude? Oh, my God, boys. Well, anyways, I don't know what's going to happen here. Let's just see. He literally paused again. I got 1,100 coins for him. Quit. What? Is that going to count as a draw, then? What happened? Okay, this game is a little fu- What's happening? Okay, well, what we're gonna go do is actually go buy yet another player. Hey, we got, I think, a thousand coins. The game didn't count, but the task is completed, so it means we can open a pack as- What the fuck is going on? Finally, this game being a broken clusterfuck has actually benefited me. I got a thousand coins, and I got a fucking free pack! <laughs> oh, did I? Did I get a free pack? Did, did, did I get a free pack though? Please, please get a free pack. What happened here? Oh God, did I not get the free pack? How do I redeem the free pack? Uh, what? Okay, so I'm reloading Ultimate Team. Let's see if this gives us... The pack is glitched now. So I was about to laugh saying for once EA has benefited me them being shitty, but no. It looks like we've been fucked over again. Now, I, I, I don't know. We'll see when it loads up if we can actually get the free pack. Guys, this is a brand new account. So it's not like I've used this free pack before. I, this is literally a brand new account. Hold on. Okay, so this has popped up for a second time. Now, if I click through, like, wait, it, wh why is it not actually showing up? It's not showing up in the store, you piece of shit game. What the fuck? Oh. So for the sake of continuity, guys, I'm going to list up a player right now. You're not going to see it. And I'm going to go buy it with my other account. So that way we can open a regular pack to act like we got that manager task or the manager pack. Okay, so there's the card purchased. Let's get ourselves all the way to the store and quote unquote redeem our free manager pack, even though we're just buying a 5,000 coin pack. Uh, so let's do that. Okay, use. Co okay, got it. Here we go. Come on, let's let it run. Let's let it run, see what we get here. Come on, free pack. We could use someone from the Liga Portuguese, a Spanish player. Those are the two things that we really, really want from this pack. Come on, I'm not asking for any shiny good things. Oh, Adriano. Literally no one we can use. This is Gabriel Hines, right? Yeah, he used to play at Man United. Uh, Adriano, I mean, I might keep a few of these guys to be honest with you. Alonso. God, I can't use anyone though. That's heartbreak. Okay, so for the time being, you know what, actually, because this is a free pack, let's sell these players on. Let's compare Adriano's price. Just buy now. Holy hell. 1300. 1200. 800. Okay, so 800. Put them up for about 750. Okay, so it looks like 800 is his cheapest price. So we'll list this one up for 750 and we should be able to sell them pretty quick. 
I like that compare price feature uh, that EA has included this year. Hopefully it's even less buggy next year because that's another way to quickly find out what a player's value is. Just make sure you don't look at players in the last minute. If they're expiring for those prices, that's not the price that they sell at, obviously, right? Okay, so Alonzo looks like he's anywhere from 500 to 600 coins. Honestly, I don't think he's going to sell for that much, to be completely honest with you. I've said honest a lot, but we're going to list him up for about 450 coins. I think at this point in the game, he'll probably go for that. Again, in Ultimate Team 15, these cards will go for a little bit more. Even Heinz will probably sell for five, six, seven hundred 700 coins. Again, another thing that I'll show you guys, this, use what I'm going to do here and apply it to Ultimate Team 15. It's not really going to apply right now to this game itself because Ultimate Ultimate Team 14 is dead, but what I would do here is I would keep shiny or non-shiny bronze contracts. I would sell pretty much everything else. So this, in my opinion, Ultimate Team 15, especially early on, will probably sell for about 200 coins. So hey, that's a little bit more coinage. I bet you right now, 250, 300 coins you could probably get for a regular gold contract. And I'm thinking on Ultimate Team 15, these ones, if EA does it right, will probably go for four or 500 coins. So I'm just gonna list them like that. Fitness, they're not gonna sell in Ultimate Team 14. I might get lucky, but these will sell for 200, maybe 300 coins in Ultimate Team 15. Something to consider. And Chemistry Styles, boys, will sell. Now, I have no idea what this will be going for next year. Let's just list it up for about, you know, a thousand coins or something like that and see what it sells for on the market. But these things, don't be lazy and just discard stuff like that, okay? Make sure you list everything you can up because they will sell. All right, boys, and as you can see right here, so all the players I listed, even at the death of Ultimate Team 14, have sold. So think of doing this stuff, guys. I know you might look at them and be like, oh shit, these guys won't sell for anything. You know what? All of this stuff will sell at the birth of Ultimate Team 15. So now that we've got about 2,500 to 3,000 coins, we can improve the teams a little bit. Now, again, at this point in Ultimate Team 15, it's early stages. When you have this amount of coinage, guys, don't get over excited or overzealous in terms of the players you buy. Stick to your theory. Stick to my theory of buying discard price players, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go buy myself, if I can, a discard left back a discard center back and a discard right back from Liga Portuguese or around there, 400, 500 coins, something like that, okay? Okay, so boys, the cheapest center back I can buy and the one that actually looks half decent is this gentleman. We'll use him and discard him. That's the name of the game. Oh, you know what? Because I've got a right mid and a center back that are both Brazilian, I could probably do this, couldn't I? Um, fuck Liga Portuguese, we'll do a little bit of a hybrid here. Um, check this out, just do Brazil. And then see if we can get lucky with one for 350. No, 400? There we go. This should work. Boys, done. So there we go, boys. There's our next right back. Now, I know you're going to look at that and be like, uh, he's not in the Liga Portuguese. Well, he's Brazilian, and my right mid and my center back are both Brazilian. Now, the reason I didn't go buy one from the Liga Portuguese is because... The cheapest Danilo and the other right back that's in the Liga Portuguese are about 800 coins. So that doesn't really go along with my theory of buying players and then discarding them. It makes no sense to buy a right back like Danilo, who's really good, but buy him for 800 coins and then discard him. That's just stupid. So I'm going to do this. Leandro, Sal, whatever his name is, I can use him. Get rid of him after and rebuy another version of him. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna have to buy this card, guys. I'm sorry, I know it's not the greatest investment, but this is gonna be, again, with uh, Varela and Alan. This is gonna be yet another investment. Now, I was looking for Portuguese left backs that I could fit in my team because I've got Varela and Rolando. So all I need is a Portuguese left back. Now, I couldn't find one for discard price, but this card, I think, like, he is no longer in the league. He's actually in the Liga Portuguese, and he's a left mid. So now I've got a left back that I can use. I don't know how many games this guy has. How many? 12 games. And at the end of the 12 games, I think I can sell him on for a decent profit because this was the cheapest one by a long shot. And there we go, boys. There is the team in terms of my main team ready to go. I am pretty damn proud of that. Most of the team is discard. Then I've got an investment in a few players that I can sell on for even more coinage. And this is really how you want to run Ultimate Team 15 in the beginning, in my opinion. And here, of course, is the fitness team, boys. Now, we haven't done anything with it, but I'm going to treat you guys to me finishing up the fitness team as well, okay? So, first of all, I'm actually going to go to a 4-2-3-1 formation uh, where I can actually use my Nico right in the middle. And I think I already scrolled right past it. There it is. 4-2-3-1-2. Boom. 400 coin left back. Done, boys. There you go. 
So there we go. We now got our goalkeeper for 400 coins. So for this Spaniard team or the Spanish team, we're going to be buying players all at discard. We'll go pick up Isaac Swensa as well. He wasn't on the 59th minute, but I think that's a pretty damn good deal for 400 coins. Now, this should help round out the entire team. I think now the Spanish team is set up. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is where we're going to finish off the video for today. So as you can see, my beautiful fitness team with Nico the Beast right in the middle. So if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And this series is pretty much done, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a setup on how I would start Ultimate Team 15 if I wasn't going to be spending a shit ton of money on packs you guys know that i will be spending a lot but i hope this helped out even if it's a few people get some new tips and tricks on how to play the game frugally and we'll catch you beauties on the flip side peace